Hi there, Sandy McIver here with number seven in the Distressed Oxize Inks Color Combos and Cards. I'm working with the Pressing Thoughts Bundle from the new Ellen Hudson LLC release. Don't you just love their packaging? I'm getting out my Misty and I'm putting my card front into the Misty. This is a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of hammer mill white card and I'm going to be stamping my image twice. So I'm starting in the middle so that I don't have to move my inky stamp. I can just move the paper. So stamp it in black and then move it over and up and then have the second one a whole bunch lower than the first one and stamp that in black as well. I love my Misty for making quick work of this type of stamping. Next we're going to do some masking. So I'm going to be using the Gina K Masking Magic and I'm just grabbing a sheet here and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to stamp the image twice, again in black ink. Make sure that you use a permanent ink. I didn't on this one and I had a little bit of uh, color movement when I was doing my blending and also got a little bit on my fingers and it kind of got onto my cards. So uh, just a heads up there. So there's a couple of pieces that stick out. There's a little bud and some leaves and you could try and cut it out with a, an X-Acto knife but I find it's easier just to cut them right off and then trim them out separately and add them on. And another tip, make sure that you cut off half of the black. That way when you put your masking down, you're not going to get a halo uh, where there's a white spot where your ink did not get around your flowers. So place those all down, get your stamped image completely covered, and then we're going to use some life-changing blending brushes from Picket Fet Studios, and we're going to add our colors. And the colors I've chose today are Picked Raspberry and Carved Pumpkin. I thought that they were a nice blend and perfect for a nice hot sunny day. And you'll notice that we're going to work our way across this time. Usually I'm giving you um, suggestions and we're using three colors and we're going top to bottom. This time I'm only using two and I'm going to go side by side, but it, it's a really pretty blend in the middle when the two colors collide. So I'm using Kleenex to protect my art piece from my sweaty little fingers <laughs> because they pick up the color and leave nice little fingerprints all over your inked piece. And you'll also notice that I'm tapping on my scrap paper before I bring the ink in. Uh, that gets rid of that blob of color that you get right at the beginning. So there's another tip there for you. And I'm not doing a solid blend. I'm leaving it a little bit kind of funky because I'm going to be adding some water splatter to it too. So it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm just trying to fill it all in. So I'm coming back to the first side. I'm going to add a little bit more of the pumpkin and that's helping me blend the center. I just love these two colors when they blend together. It's so bright and cheery. And now I'm just kind of filling in some white spots and I'm flipping this back over because there's a light spot there right between the pansies. So I just want to darken that up a little bit. Next we're going to spritz and this is just straight water. Spritzing it on there and then using a piece of paper towel to pick it up gives it a nice effect. And now I'm going to dry it before I do the next step. And I'm just using my heat tool and drying it out. So I'm popping the art piece back into the Misty so I can add my sentiments and I'm choosing a large thanks and then a small continuation. What does it say for everything? There's quite a few different sentiments in this set which is nice. And I'm using the VersaFine Claire Nocturne Black Ink to stamp the image. And I do it twice because sometimes when you get uh, Distress Oxide inks wet, they kind of blend the colors in a little bit and the black has a tendency to soak in. So if you do it a couple of times, then it stays really, really nice and bright. All right, we're finished with that part. Now we're going to do a little splatter. So I have a little bit of acrylic paint here. I'm just adding to one of my acrylic handles, adding some water, and I'm stirring it up with a paintbrush. And I always like to check my spots to see how big they're going to be before I add them to my art piece. I'm just adding them there. And then again, I'm going to heat set these dry or I can go make lunch and let them dry on their own. But I'm trying to get this video finished. Next, you want to take your tweezers and gently lift your masking to display your black and white image underneath. This may take a few minutes and you have to be patient so that you get all those little pieces. 
and just work your way around until it's all shown. I'm using score tape to attach my card front to my card base because it's really nice and strong. I really like using this stuff. Peeling back the protective cover and then I'm getting my card base ready using my score buddy to score and fold my top folding A2 white card base. And I'll show you a secret about getting your card front on there. You're going to place the card base back into the left hand corner of your score buddy and then use the side and the top to line up your card front and get it on there perfectly straight. I hope you enjoyed today's share. The links to all the products that I've used are underneath the video. There's also a link over to my blog where you can get a free PDF tutorial for this card. Thanks so much for stopping in and until next time, toodles!